Hey everybody, it's Ghost Wolf. So I've been sitting here grinding Ewok just a little bit, so that way I'd be able to get his uh, level up and or get her at level up and evolve done on the live stream tonight. And I ran across a shiny Rapidash, first shiny I've come across in my Nuzlocke. Um, so since the shinies are exceptions to the rules, I quickly threw on the recording, so that way I can show you guys my attempts to actually catch this. Unfortunately, the Pokemon that I have in my team are a little bit damaged from fighting, so I hope I'll be able to actually injure this just enough, but not kill it. So, let's see, I think Shadowfax has a decent amount of health left. It's only a level 4 Rapidash. But holy crap, Shiny <laughs> was not expecting that. Tail Whip, thank you. Oh, that's defense lowering. I don't want defense lowering. Don't know if I want to tackle. All right, one tackle. Don't kill it. You, you're stronger than this Rapidash. Nice. All right. Um, let's see. Bag. All right. Let's throw some Pokeballs. Well, that was completely unexpected coming across a shiny. For a second there, I thought the color on my Game Boy emulator was going out. I don't think it actually has Ember. I'm going to switch it to Mothra and then see if I can... Let's see, should I paralyze it or put it to sleep? I think paralyze it's probably the best move. Give me a little bit of a buff to my capture rate. There we are. Oh, that was completely unexpected. All right, we need to go back to Shadowfax. We can probably throw a potion on Shadowfax if this gets a little bit lower. We can switch to somebody else for a little bit. But Shadowfax will resist any of the uh, yep fire attacks. Yeah, it didn't do very much. Nice. Glad I've got a so so many Pokeballs. It's Rapidashes are not the easiest Pokemon in the world to catch. Oh, come on, get in the ball. Yes, this is actually down in the Orberg Mine, where I actually ran into this just right near the entrance, so that way I could run to the Poke Center without actually losing any of my team members, in case they got poisoned or something. Oh, come on! Shiny would be amazing on a Nuzlocke run, come on! Get in the Pokeball! One, two, three. Ha <laughs> ha! We caught a shiny. Oh, that is awesome. All right, we need to name it something. Now, the one thing I've always noticed about um, Rapidash's mains when they're shiny is it's always been like storm clouds. And so I think I don't know how many other X Men references we've had, but I think Storm works very well for a sci-fi fantasy name for this Rapidash. I think it's female, too. Oh, it's male. Damn. Mm. I think... And yeah, this is one of those cases where the gender really doesn't matter. I mean, I can't think of anything better than Storm. Let's see, we've got a... Horse... Well, it's pretty much a unicorn with a gray mane. Fantasy. I don't know the name of any, like, the last unicorn or any of the... Any movies like that that had anything... Damn, this would have been an even better one for Shadowfax. I think I'm just going to go with Storm. I can't think of anything else. Or let's see. Well, actually, no, it's a Shiny. Let's see. Shiny and Fire. It's male. You know, Shiny reminds me of Firefly. And so I think this would be a very good one to get to name Mal. Cat. Actually, do we do Captain Mal? That's just the name of Malcolm. Captain Malcolm Reynolds. Alright, so there we go. Actually, let's go Captain Mal. I prefer having the uh, title into it. I'm a little bit undecisive. I still can't believe I found a shiny. First shiny I've ever found in a Pokemon game. 
well, in the non-Pixelmon. Oh, that is so nuts. I'm so glad I was paying attention. I was kind of like half paying attention while I was grinding. Oh, there we go. Captain Mao. Alright, well, I will be coming back into the episode on the live stream, but that was just to show you what was going on. Alright, welcome back. So, those of you on YouTube actually saw me catch this, but let me go into the box and do a quick little overview. So, what I was doing was I was grinding, for those of you on the Twitch screen, grinding to get my uh, Ewok up to the point where he's almost learning Bug Buzz, so you can actually see him evolve on stream. So, let's go into the Pokemon storage system, kind of look at what we have for our options. So we have our... Where'd it go? Where the hell did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So we have the Vic we have Queen Kong, or Vigoroth. We've got Spock the Mudkip. And then we have Leia the Frost Lass. And I ran into Captain Mao. I decided to name him after the Captain on Firefly. Because he's shiny. And shiny reminded me of Firefly. Uh, I debated a little bit. You'll see it on the YouTube video. But uh, on the... Which one on naming shiny? It. The uh, Rapidash, if you can see, it's got a gray mane in the little window. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to catch a Kangaskhan. Can I Ooh. suggest name me a Kong? And let's see what we've got on there. We've got a Hardy Nature, Layer which I don't think does much. Likes to fight, which means its attack is its highest ability. Leo's like the coolest Pokemon ever. It also has Flash Fire, so if you hit it with fi if it takes a Fire type move, it gets stronger, <laughs> which Ooh. is kind of nice. Captain Mal. Yep, Captain Mal. I, I've been saving some of the Firefly crew for some of the best Pokemon I come across, so I figured a shiny would be just about the best for Captain Mal. It was, it was a toss-up between that and Jane, and I decided to go with Mal instead. Jane? What? You've seen Firefly, right? Yeah. Okay. What, do you, what even is that? Well, I have. I don't know about Turkey. I don't, I don't, I don't, I I don't, even, know, I don't even know what that is. It's a wow. show, I think. You don't know what Firefly is? Nope. Oh dear god, after this stream we are totally educating you on some very important sci-fi that everyone should see. Edumacation? <laughs> anyway, let me go head down. So I'm going to do the gym challenge today, but I do want to get Ewok to the point where he doesn't just have Bide. Because he sucks right now. <laughs> or she. I can't use Frostlass. I'm actually playing an order lock, order lock. So I can't pull somebody from out of the box until one of these guys dies, and then I'll be pulling... Queen Kong Captain first, because Queen Kong was the first one I caught. Or not, Captain Mao. Yeah, Captain Mao will be the fourth replacement. Alright. So Wait, just... this is still sci-fi based, right? Yeah. Oh god, I can still suggest my thing. I know, but you're not going to do it. We have plenty of Star Wars. We are, we're fighting Vader, for crying out loud. Dang it. Alright. Right, let's switch over. Oh, I want Star Fox to get a little bit of levels before the gym. Star Fox. I couldn't think of anything better to name a fox. <laughs> and then whenever he dodges, I can say he did a barrel roll. Ah, it looks like some people in the stream are actually doing Nuzlocks of their own. That's awesome. Yeah. Can you have That's usually what I'd be doing when I'm up here with you. Of course, right yeah, now, feel free okay. to throw uh, requests for names out to the uh, stream if you're doing your own Nuzlocke. Alright, here it okay. is. Level 16. Ewok learned Bug Bite, which is a 60 power bug move. If I had evolved him earlier, he would have only learned 20 powers. Mm. And so now we should have an evolution on top of this, which I've been delaying for the last six levels because Cricketots have, Yo, for some reason, a weird move set. You have 122,000 viewers in total. That's views overall. I know, I know. I, didn't <laughs> I was being really careful not to push a button there. I didn't realize I had to actually advance the prop for it to evolve. Ewok's evolving. Holy hell, that thing looks odd. I love the mustache, though. Would you take yeah, uh, sci-fi suggestions for games as well? Yeah, I'll allow games. I'm just keeping anime out of it. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about anime. Yes, so I can suggest four Warhammer 40k references. Yeah, as long as you can justify them and they match the Pokemon well, then I'm all for it. So if I find something ugly, I can suggest Misa. 
No. <laughs> there shall be no more Jar Jar Binks references. That is the decree. I should add that to the rule set. <laughs> no, it's not worth. All right, so let's take a quick look at her team, and let's go hit some gym trainers. So, we'll... so the Pokemon we have on our team, we've got Ewok, which is our Cricketune, pure bug type. He's got a quiet nature, which doesn't help too much, but he has good perseverance, which means his defense stat is pretty good, and his he uh, health is actually quite high. So Bug Bite, oops, let me actually see the move. Yeah, 60 power, and I can eat the enemy's berries. Does Ewok have Technician? Um, no, Ewok has... has Swarm. Powers up Bug-type moves in a pinch, so if his health drops into the red, he gets extra buff. Mm. I and think then... one of his other abilities is um, Technician. Yeah, that pro Technician is one of the best ones, because it makes any 60 power move, like, 90 power. Um, I think it adds 40 or 30 power to yeah. any... And you move under 60 power. Yeah, so it, it really buffs up a lot of the moves. Like, that's what makes, um, what's it called? Green Moon so OP. Because you just get Bullet Seed, add 40 power to it, you get, like, 4 or 5 seeds. Oh, wow. At, okay, yeah, that's crazy. Okay, that's I like see. That's, like, 160 damage total, and you always move first, too. So we got Shadow Fax, our Rash um, Ponyta. It has Runaway, which is great. I can always run from a fight if I need to. Its speed is amazing. It's also got really good health. Um, we've got Star Fox. Wait, Pokédex number question mark? Oh, I must not have the national Pokédex yet. That's the problem with the, some of these uh, randomizers. <laughs> they don't uh, work everything out right. Yeah. Yep. Lonely Nature, so Route 218. And then it has Flash Fire, so it powers up fire-type moves if hit by a fire move, which the, po the Captain Mal also has. It's got pretty good speed. A little bit low on defense. We've got mm. Chewbacca, which is kind of mediocre across the board. Um, you have an Ewok and a Chewbacca. This Pokemon is prone to wild stat changes. The hell does that do? What? Ability ah. simple. Ah. It's got a serious nature. Likes to thrash about. Happily eats anything. Okay. So we got Tackle and Rock Smash on him. Mostly just so we had some moves until he learned something good. We've got our Naughty Butterfree, who has Compound Eye, so my accuracy's boosted, which is great with these half- with lower accuracy powders. And then we also have Confusion. And then we have Han Solo, who is lonely, boosts the attack spat, <laughs> but lowers his accuracy. That, that sounds very much like a Han Solo. Hustle is the ability. Oh, well, lonely doesn't quite fit. He does have Chewbacca. Ew. True. You 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 Hustle. Um, but he al is also carrying... I don't think it shows the held item. You oh, no, there it is. It on the left, it's the Quick Claw. So no, uh, but... Han can shoot first. I keep doing that joke, but it's still <laughs> funny. <laughs> Just don't put me, like, 50 power moves, because that makes me, like, 30 or whatever. How, Simple. How doubles the effect of stat changes. Ooh. So if I give him any kind of buff, he goes crazy, but D D Tail Whip does down too. Oh damn, man, I should get a swords dance on that Bidoof. Oh, <laughs> that wow. thing would be a beast, a 4x change. Can it learn, for, can it learn swords dance? Wait, wait, it, it counts as two debuffs or buffs, but can be used six times, so you can actually get a plus 12 boost. Oh. Can you imagine a plus 12 attack boosted Bidoof? <laughs> that has to happen. Please tell me he can learn Swords Dance. I, I will Google it right now. Alright, and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to buy some more Pokeballs because I burned a few uh, catching that Rapidash, so I need to uh, replenish my stock. I just realized one of my favorite things in, um, what gen, the gen that you're playing now on the sprites. If you look at them backwards, some of them look like starfish. <laughs> Alright, so this Ooh, is the gym. Ghost, 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 ghost. What? Your Bidoof learns Hyper Sing at level 21. Does he evolve before then or after then? I don't know. I'll check. Because I, I want to make sure I don't accidentally evolve too soon. Alright. Mr. Helper Guy, what do we got? Yeah, it evolves at level 15, but it learns Hyper Sing at level 21. Okay, Hyper Fang is not the half damage one, right? 
That's the yeah, that's uh, good damage one. I think eighty power. Okay, it's not the one that just does half health. Cool. Yeah, that's super fun. Nice. Uh, does he learn anything better as a Bidoof up to then? Because Hyper Fang is really great on the normal. He goes learn, normal water, or is he just going to pure water? You might as well just evolve it, because going into water, then level um, 15, and Hyper Fang level 23. Okay, as long as I don't miss it. Like, that's the reason I kept Cricketot around, because he would have missed it. Ooh, and you want to get it to level 48, because we're in super power. 120 power. Okay. Okay, so this gym should have been the rock type gym, but who knows what it is. It looks like there's ways to skip all these trainers, but we're gonna fight them for the free experience. Well, it doesn't win sword stand. Sadly. Of course I saw the long way around, but I'd rather just fight ya. Wow, one whole Pokemon. Okay, it's a Ludicolo, which I believe is water and grass. Which unfortunately suffers from a massive weakness to bug. Go Ewok! Beat the crap out of him. That's a, yeah, you, um, <laughs> One hit wonder! You have to do stuff you um, attack through. Oh, damn. Okay, but Babero can learn Curse. I'm gonna have to remember to keep Curse on Babero then with that. I, I never remember to check abilities. So that's actually really, really awesome. Alright, well, I think we can handle another... Wow, there's only two trainers? What a lame gym. I was hoping for more of a experience ramp up. I don't really like the fact you can skip every single trainer. I like to be forced to have to fight all of them. Oh, Kadabra. It, it's, it's just like they're lining it up for Ewok to just super effective everything. Goodbye, Psychic Types. Also, Ewok is a little bit over-leveled, because I had to grind him to the point where he actually got useful, so... I think uh, Ewok might just kind of sweep the gym at level 17. Yeah, six levels above. About to send in Geodude. Okay, now we need to switch. Um, shit. I don't really have anything that's going to be very good against a Geodude, do I? Mm. Um, Chewbacca and Han Solo both know Rock Smash, though. Let's throw Chewbacca in first. I don't think there's much a level 9 Geodude can actually do. Hey, it's a Rock-type Pokemon in a Rock-type gym. How often does that happen? In the Rock gym. God, Rock Smash sucks as a move. But it's better than Tackle, yeah. and it gives me a little bit more type variety. Oh no, electric power has been weakened. I don't think I have electric move to anyone. I don't think I have an electric move in my box. Wow, super effective and it really does that much. That's so bad. Just the rock thing. First Pokemon usually will always be at a disadvantage. I don't think the randomizer does that. It, I've had things that are advantageous or disadvantageous. Alright, there goes Darius. So we got a little bit more cash. I'm going to go heal up, just even though I've used just only a few moves, I don't want to have any risk of these guys dying when I take the gym leader <laughs> As awesome as the stuff that's going to be coming out of my box when one of these guys dies, I do rather like my team. Especially now that I know that Bidoof can become ridiculously powerful, even though it's not supposed to be. <laughs> and the question is whether I should have something else out front. So I can die. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I really just don't want much to die. All right, Rorik, or I think his Rorik, his name is Rorik. Yep, Rorik. Rock. Rock. Rorik. I'm pretty sure it's Rorik. Okay, no, it's not Brock. Brock's like the first gen. Yeah. We're not doing any breeding in this gym. I think they're all male trainers anyway. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nope, no one gets a joke. Okay. Whoa, ghost.